folks, I am Parkera and welcome to a little transfer update. Camera's there. Uh, hello. Okay, anyway, let's just get into it. Okay, so this is our transfers. We've made three transfers in this last window. It's just closed. There should be some screenshots. I'll post them there if I remember or somewhere else just to show that uh, we've had a few offers for some of our players and it's been good to see that they've shown a lot of um, commitment to the club and not going anywhere. So we've lost nobody. Excellent. So uh, we've bought three players in, uh, all on the freebie. So Jordan Casey, now this guy was in on loan with us. He came from Western Suburbs on trial, I should say, and we were able to pick him up on a free. If you just have a quick look at him, he is going to be a fullback. At the moment, we had uh, David Edge on loan to us, who was doing the job, um, but I felt like we needed, uh, well, another permanent player, and I found this guy. He, he's played a couple of games for us before... Um, one a couple of games in the under 20s and actually one game for us um, and I was impressed he's done okay he's um, he's 19 years old so there is some improvements to get from him obviously if you look here his marking is not the best so he'll be working on the marking and we are going to do that right now not strength we want to push in some marking there we go all right and also next, so he's come from Western Suburbs. We've got two players from Central. These two are deadline day things again. What's we really the last day of this transfer, you know? Ah. So Alex Stevens, yes, another left back. Why? Well, if you look at the comparison over here in this corner, you'll see that uh, Stevens is just rated under the Casey. So he's another guy who we just got in. And David Edge is third choice. So he's, and he's, the player we have on loan. So he's going to go at the end of the season. I doubt we'll get him back, um, especially when we have these two here. So I'm pretty happy. We've got a good first choice and a good, decent second choice. So I can do a bit of rotation there. Um, this fella, Alex Stevens, is a fair bit older, five or six years older than uh, Jordan Casey. But I think he'll still do the job for us. As a fullback, tackling is important to me more than heading. We can work on a few other things. Overall, I'm pretty happy with him. He's got some decent stamina, natural fitness and balance about him. And he's a good team worker. We'll work on some aspects of his game. I'm probably going to put him on marking as well, just for kicking off. Let's get him to focus on his marking. And then it takes us to Riley Omega from Central as well. Another player on deadline day we got on... Um, Free from Central. Um, someone who was on my scout report. I always check that on the last day of the season. Uh, transfer day, sorry. Um, and he was one that had been semi-scouted. About 60 odd or so percent. Um, I took a punt and I'm pretty happy. The coaches are pretty happy with him. He's 22 year old defensive centre. So again, he strengthens our defence. He will take over from Jordan Hearn, who had come in. That panic buy from last time. Um, Hearn's been doing okay, in my opinion. But this guy is a step above, as you can see in the comparisons there, over Hearn. So he is a number two choice. Good stats, good marking, decent heading, uh, decent tackling. But he's got some good physicals that are like pace, fit, natural fitness, jumping, reach, and agility. I think they're all help him. His balance may counter a little bit and his stamina, so we can probably work on a bit of that. Um, and he's fairly decent at um, decision makings and his position, positioning could do a bit of work. There's a few areas of his game we want to work on. So at this stage, I think we're going to go and look at his stamina. My coach reckons we should strength. Strength is seven. Uh, I'm going to go with my one and go for stamina for now, just for a wee while. So that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, is the transfers. Now we should run the intro to New Zealand to the world. We'll see you later. Hi hey folks, it's Pakira and welcome back. Today we take on Manukau City in the league. Now just a quick update. The odds, well the odds, not the odds, but I tell you what, it's just got a bit more important this game. You see, yesterday, Ellerslie beat top of the table Western Springs 1-0. 
That means we are now three points behind them. That means, as you can see down here, we have a five goal superior goal difference. If we can pick up the win today, we go top of the pops. And also, that means anything goes. So anyway, I thought you'd like that. You would have just seen some of the transfers. What I did not show you quickly is some of the outgoings. Um, for some reason, it's not showing release players. So we did release five players. Um, pretty much all of them had come to me like a first team playing, didn't think they were good enough, and I agreed pretty much, and they said, okay, then, so kind of mutual agreement, and they just left. Um, so to be honest, no losses apart from Sam. I was a bit disappointed. He came to me. I went through the same thing. He's saying, yeah, you're not good enough at this stage, but I'll help you find a club. I didn't say, you know, I think you should just look elsewhere. And he just said, okay, then it terminated his contract. So, unfortunately, it means I've brought up one of my young kids from the under-20s. He'll be on the bench today. Um, it's just, yeah, I was a bit disappointed with that. But we'll get into it today anyway. So here's a schedule. We are, when did we last leave you? Ellerslie, 3-0 up. So, <laughs> to you it would have been a few days. To me it's been like a matter of a few hours. I've been smashing through a football manager all day today. Uh, I'm getting ahead. So, anyway, so we, yeah, we followed up the Ellerslie win with a great 4-0 win of uh, Waitamata. Or Waitamata. Okay, so this was an away win, so um, Gruplar got one goal, Sudgeon again with a double, and Nick Cameron with a single goal as well. So we had a great, great game. We had picked up one yellow, but you can see the average ratings were really fantastic, with the lowest being uh, 6.8, or uh, 6.5 was a half-time sub, so I'm not really reading into that. We went to Melville. Now, this was a tough match. We were at home. You, we took the early lead, 44, you know, fourth minute goal, and then we had 40 second minute goal. So two 0 up into half time. Nice, good. It was tough, and then they came back at us with two goals. We were lucky at the end. I mean, at the end, I just didn't think the team gave enough, and I did tell them that, you know, you really guys, it was disappointing. We should have done better. Um, the odds were slight favourites to Melville going into this match, but I actually thought we should have come away with a win. So, but hey, at the end of the day, it's still a point we picked up. Now, we've went to Franklin. Now, Franklin, apparently, in the, the press, was saying that they'd made all these improvements and blah, blah, blah. Um, we went there and we demolished them. 4-1. Uh, uh, goal by Vaughan again. Uh, first goal back. He's slowly coming back into the team the last couple of games. Um, he's started as he's been out for so long with injury. Suggy again with two goals and Cameron with a, another goal. As you can see, it was pretty much over by half time. And then we went to Hibiscus Coast. 2 1 win. Um, tough. A very tough match. 2 1 way win. Uh, 30th minute goal for us, then they scored again in the 53rd, and then 10 minutes later we managed to pull the second goal. We They they defended well, we were all over the place really with a few of our shots, we just didn't perform 100%. Now a lot of that I think in the last couple of games has also been, especially this game, uh, dynamics, and that's because it's been ruffled up a lot because of the signings. Now... Uh, it's not to be, it's just to be expected. We brought three players in, and so the cohesion's dropped a bit. And so we are working that um, in our training, as you'll see here. Trouble is, it's part time training. So, high coat makes cohesion. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it and announce our squad today. So, we've got Bennett in goal, we've got Barnes on the right, Mitchell and Hearn in the centre, and Casey on the left. On the right wing, we've got Grupla, and on the left, we've got Noldul. The noodle, noodles, whatever. In the centre, we've got Cissé still, and Vaughan has come back, like I mentioned the last couple of games starting. He's still a little bit um, knackered in terms of match fitness. Um, and up front, as always, we've got Cameron and Sudgeon. 
so we've lost a lot. We beforehand, I don't know if we you would have noticed this a few games ago, two games, three games. We had a lot more arrows there, um, arrows, lines, you know, familiarity and all that. So we've lost a couple, but I'm not too fussed. Um, and of course, our substitutes, as always, uh, David Edge, the guy who had been playing on the left from uh, Waitakere and Lone, he's actually gone down to the bench because he can play right. Um, so we've left them there. We've brought in Smith has dropped into the bench uh, because of Vaughan. Um, Stevens, basically he's the other new signee for the left that gives us coverage. And P Simon Pete is the new striker from the under 20s. Um, I'll just hover over there so you can have a quick nosy at the stats. He's only a 17 year old kid, um, but look at that finishing at 16. And you know, we'll see what happens if he gets enough game time. Anyway, that's enough. We're saying so the subs are the same apart from Pete. Uh, standard mentality and a bit fluid shape here today. So we are going to. Yep, we're going to have to assign the squad number. We'll give him number 15. And let's get into the water. You know, do your little stretches and do your exercises. Rub your deep heat. Okay, get into the dressing room. I don't know. Okay, we're going to. We're going to go assertive. So it's over to you now. Have a good one. <laughs> I like that, eh? Nah. Manukau City coming to 10th in the form table whilst we're first. Let's show them why, guys. Oh, yes. Tunnel interview. How much of a boost is Bevan Capsi's absence in your... Oh, I hate these. Um, you know what? We're going to send Joe, bro. So warm-ups are done. We're all in the huddles. We're, well, you know, tiddlywinks. Let's kick into the game, and we're off, guys. It's weird not having a headphone and talking to this. It's mostly working. Okay, so Smith's got the ball. He finds his teammate. Ha-ha, Vaughan picked it up. And the camera. Let me know what you think. Is it too small? Should we get rid of it? Free kick. Nothing. I've got this player watch up, because I've just been watching the um, new kid. Not the new, well, yeah, one of our new signings. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that, actually. Oh, it was just for the first game a couple of games ago. So we don't need to see that anymore. Hit it down. Nodal. Vaughan takes a shot. Very good, son. Just like that. Yeah, you know, just took the shot. Manager's just sitting on the sideline. Chip. Yep. We'll take that, bro. Any dues. So Morris, Nodal got the tap to Vaughan, who just take the slot home. Nicely done. Very crowded box. Okay, so they've already got a couple of knackered players on the pitch there, so that's their fitness, which hopefully play in their hands here. Free kick. Mitchell, Cissé, go and take the shot. Wow. No, nothing there. <laughs> 35th minute, just 1-0. We're going to give them a little bit of an encouragement here. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, Noodle crosses it. Interception by Manukau. Cissé has got the ball. He manages to find Cameron, who finds Sajun. Went for shot. Deflected. Guy was out for a throw-in. We're playing in Manukau. Used to be my home county, province. Home suburb in Auckland here for a few months ago. So going to the half time, nothing much to it at the moment. That's it, half time, one nil. Okay. Um, yeah, courage of players. You know we're going to go passionate here. Still room for improvement. Okay, got it. Ooh, who went down? Casey and Cisse look to switch off. Seriously? All right, let's have a look into them. Let's have a look at their performance in the next few 15 or so minutes, eh? So Casey hoofs it long, doesn't find his man. Cissé hoofs it to the goalkeeper. Okay. Yeah, I've got them on direct passing, but sometimes they still wonder why they make some of these crazy passes. It's probably because they're shit in all their passing areas. Vaughan's playing well. Cissé's looking complacent. As well as Casey, which is to be expected. So I think we're going to make a bit of a change here. I'm not going to have a full uh, fullback looking complacent because I quite easily get caught out. Barnes to the throw of Cissé. Uh, Mitchell finds Vaughan. Looks forward. Manages to find Graplark. Doesn't beat his man. 
Okay, so the balls with Manic out at the moment, they're pushing it forward. Nice little bit of tick tack to there. That was just too easy, mate. That's just crap. That is absolute caca. And you know what? I know it didn't come down the wing, but Casey, you're coming off of Stephen Smith. You're coming off for Cissé. Let's go and make those changes. I'm just not going to have you. One all. That's not the... Don't tell me that. Fuckers. <laughs> fuck! What the fuck? Two, no, two, one. Okay, we're going, we're going control. We're going to get the damn ball out there. Come on, you fellas. Oh, fuck, a group is injured. Ah, oh, shit. He's got a gash head. We could have poor blood all over there. Oh. Right. Grupla is injured. He's recovering from an injury into the head. Okay. Shish kebabs. I don't have... Okay, he's just going to have to... We're just... We're just going to put a bandage on, guys. We'll just put a band-aid on. Bandage it up. Yep, yeah, looks like it has. We've got a chance to go top of the table. And we're absolutely bottling it here. I don't okay, let's go flexible. Let's go more disciplined. Let's get stuck in. And let's go. Oh, oh man. Okay, Pete. On for Sudgeon. Let's pump it. Let's pump it. Let's go long ball. Let's get much more there. Okay. Let's get nice and wide. Hit the early crosses as well. And let's mix them up a bit. Let's get up there. I can't believe this. Wow, lovely guys. Lovely, lovely, lovely. From changes, what's going on? Come on, game. Demand more. I can't believe this is just. We've got. You're going to get a bollocking at half time, you guys. Come on, just knock it forward. Yeah. Just hit it. Come on. Sudge, Pete. There's no Sudge you can prop. Yeah. Come on. Let's get up here. Vaughn. Grippler, smack on. Yes, Vaughn. Pete, just come find your man. Come on, Smithy. No at all. Cross it. That's ours. Back into the box. Oh, what a waste. Yeah, this is frustrating. Oh. And that's a loss. We're going to go assertive. I expected a bit more response from some of those players. 
Absolutely shit. We lost an opportunity. I mean, we didn't even get a draw. I mean, a draw would have given us a point, at least. And this has dropped us down to third. Yeah, disappointing collapse. Group was injured for a head knock, 8 to 12 days. With a gash head, place through injury. Protective equipment, 9 to 12 days. No, we're going to leave to physio. Yes. I'm going to slam him. Okay, group was in casual against Man I want to say Man Manukau City team may have claimed... Way too many to edge nothing across the line of what has been considered exit. For, what do you make? I'm not a fan of it. They're being assertive, and that's Manukau City. They've left their mark on Dan, and he won't be the first North after the last. Yep. What would you do to change the situation? Do you think there should be sterner punishments for these types of transgressions? Um, you know, nah, I'm just going to say there's nothing we can do if it's long and within the rules of the game. Poor result for you today. You sure you're already aware that Melville United have won today? How significant could today become at the end of the season? I'm not especially happy at handing them, handing them momentum. One result can turn into two or three and suddenly things look don't look good for us at all. There's still points to be won and lost, so it's not really significant. Ooh. I don't think we need to panic as long as we focus on doing our jobs. Vaughan shines even though we fail to lose. Yeah, he did shine. So let's have a look at the schedule. You will see that, um, well, let's just actually have a look at the table first. <laughs> so a draw would have left us where we were. A win would have put us top of the table. So that game against Western Springs now will definitely be where we come back on next. So it's going to be two games away. So that'll be most likely on Friday. You will see that. Yeah, because you should be watching this. On Wednesday, if future me scheduled this right, and you would know, and it's a bit too late now, I only just picked it up, the last video, there's a couple of instances where it will have a big red box saying online media or something. Some reason, when I've been exporting or rendering down the video, the f pictures I inserted into it have not being captured and I presume what it is is me being a numbskull and as soon as I've done the editing and I've done it and I've set it up to export and rendered down I've deleted the photos from where they were and so even during the rendering process obviously it's probably tried to find the photo or confirm it and it just hasn't found it so it's just thrown up a nice little red box <laughs> which sucks because i was really i enjoyed that one because there was a couple of little er areas there um that would have been quite entertaining i'm sure a few of you would have uh, liked especially the birthday present <laughs> the birthday picture i had for Suggy. but that's that and i've learned from it and i've tested it and it seems to be how i suspect it so Nothing's been added into this match yet, or at all, but it's disappointing. So we are back for Western Springs, and then we'll probably come... I'm going to change it up a bit, because uh, we will then come back for... Uh, yeah, look. We were going to come back against Metro, so we'll come back for Western Springs, and then we'll probably come back for Melville at the end of the season, but we'll confirm it after the Western Springs match. So, that is all, guys. Um, thank you for your support. really want to have a, a, a massive shout-out to everybody, especially my new subscribers. I really do appreciate it. I've got to learn to look into the camera. Let me know what you think, how the series is going. Are the intros too long? I've taken a bit of music out for the last couple. You may or may not have noticed. Uh, what do you think of the camera? Too big, too small? Get rid of it, whatever. Let me know. Feedback down below in the comments, please. And if you know, please like this video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and ring that ding dong bell so you get all the notifications. Right, I am Pakira. I am over and I am out. <laughs>